All right, hello everyone. I am the Emerald Raider, and I'm joined by the Jade Elf. And where we last left off, we were just backtracking to see all the quests that we missed out on. And right now, we're just trying to find a dude with a giant spear that is clickable to continue our freaking uh, quest here for a nice ass sword. It sounds like extracurricular activities. Notice here with the exercise area on the fourth floor shall serve as permanent berthing for the Templar garrison stationed at the tower. Since the facilities accommodate their particular training requirements are already on hand, they will be assuming an even closer watch over the circle affairs. Enchanter Bergen's optional weapons training is canceled until further notice. Enchanter Bergen has additionally stepped down from teaching duties. First Enchanter Sinclair. Wow. Enchanter Bergen done fucked up. Okay. So right now we're at the edge, right? Look up. What is that? It's a spear, but it's it's not clickable. Not clickable, yeah. yeah. And nothing else in that room? No, it wasn't anything clickable. I'm holding the button. It should show the name if it's clickable. The Tevinter Imperium. The Imperium is a little more than a dis dilapidated old slattern crouching in the far north of Thetis, drunkenly cursing it at passerby to recall her faded beauty. One can see that the men Rathis was once the center of the world. The vestiges of her power and artistry yet stand, but they are buried in the layers of filth that Imperium's decadence has accumulated over the ages. The magicracy, live, and elegant stone towers literally elevated above the stench of the slaves and peasants below. The outskirts of Mendrathis are washed in a sea of refugees turned dis destitute by the never-ending war between the Imperium and the Kunari. And yet, the Imperium survives, whether with sword or magic, the venture remains a force to be reckoned with. And Rathis has been besieged by men, by Kunari, by Andraste herself, and never fallen. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar, by Brother Gentivy. Brother G. Oh, so apparently the wizards that rule the Taventer Imperium have been at war with the Kunari for a while. That stands people. Dang. Soldier Corpse, how did we miss that? Come on, man. Cool last picture. How did we miss this whole fucking room? Mm -mm. Another corpse. Lovely. Ooh. I didn't even summon our dog back. What's up, boy? Unique item power. What? That looks really freaky. <laughs> <laughs> A book. War meant to his command and his reject reputation as a man of honor spread. Eventually, during his campaign against the Lo Lolan Bonorn, uh, he met his most infamous friend and companion, the vaunted warrior Lady Shayna. Helen had married the famously beautiful daughter of Verdon Marin, and his firm belief in the ways of the Chantry became the staple of his court. In a time when the Chantry was still new to the lands and courts following Andraste held the majority of the power in Ferelden, Helen had had begun to solidify the nation as one in line with the other nations around it. So piety eventually won over Helen had those fight faithful and frail than who had been waiting for such a leader. With Lady Shayna at his side, Kellen Head was unstoppable, and by 542 exalted, the War of Ferelden had come down to find one battle against the collective forces of Simon Terence of Darnorum and most potent noblemen in the land. Kellen had persuaded the Circle of Magi to come to his aid, as well as the Ash Warriors, and in the Battle of White Valley, he famously defeated Terran Simeon and united the nation. During the battle, 
Simeon nearly killed Callanhad, but Lady Shana intervened and took the wound for him, stay, slaying Simeon. Callanhad was crowned king in Denerim that year with Marin, his queen, but he spent much of the months that followed nursing Lady Shana back to health. King Callanhad for Aldead was peaceful for a time, with Chantry spreading quickly under the king's guidance. Everywhere the king and queen went, they were surrounded by cheering crowds. The common folk celebrated Callanhad as one of their own who had achieved the impossible, and the trade opened with many outside uh, lands for the first time in Ferelden's existence, but as with many such golden ages, it was not to last. From The Legend of Callanhad by Brother Heron, Chantry Scribe. Of the Blessed Age. You find a note in a book. Is your if space is your excuse? I will surrender my quarters. If it is about money, I will hire the appropriate people. I will not graduate another student ignorant of weapons that any ditch digger can shove into his ribs. We teach them to spend append ridiculous glamours on parade arms, but they don't know how simple steel that is criminal. Enchanter Brigan. Oh, they just didn't like that he wanted to teach combat. Wait, we missed this. There's red dots over here. We we missed a battle. Dragonly or dragonling? Excuse me. Huh? You recall? No. <laughs> so you never fought these little dragonlings? I don't remember that, but I'm sure I had to. Oof. Okay, you're all doing good. Oh, the blood of the dragons. They leak. Okay, there's a whole section we skipped out on. This good thing I we backtracked, huh? <laughs> Ooh, 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 or a pup. Lovely. Oh, wow. More demons. We're Loth abomination. We're not afraid of abominations. We had to run into a sloth of, or yeah, we ran into hunger abominations, but not sloth. Unfortunately, oh, you're getting really good at killing abominations. We. There we go. out a scrap of paper promises of pride the call is made we will stride out here with pride in our step regardless of the outcome this is for the good of the circle Muldred will see to it libertarian bonus right they were all for it <laughs> Ooh, a big ass battle axe it's two handed though take it just because it's loot but if we run out of space again i'll have to drop it oh what is it no you can't do it dang it liliana allow me i could do that for you more private documents. Another dagger with two enchantment spots. That we can't use. Oh, these are the Templar's quarters. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, and there's three more coming behind us. <laughs> Oof. 
and your list went than half. And us. Oh, and us. Yep. We both died. <laughs> hey, what in the fuck? Doggo, are you doing like literally anything? Now Wen's the only one alive. Oh, Wen and the dog. Oh, and the dog. She does not have many offensive options. Like, whatsoever. You have her run out of the room and just do like an earthquake or something? No. They'll just follow since they're help they're attacking us. Uh. Leaving you, pup. You got this shit, ghost. No way. Is he actually gonna do it? Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no. We all died. This time it won't be a fucking ambush, since we know these fuckers are coming. Stay right here. <laughs> oh, it's because they just appeared out of nowhere. I thought they came in from the other room or something. What is that an earthquake? Yeah. I guess this tactical combat will be lost with the newest one, but I still maintain that it's going to be better. <laughs> More action packed. You see, that's what it was. It was that yeah. big fucking fireball that that stupid thing did. <laughs> okay, we're gonna earthquake on top of ourselves. <laughs> Wait. Okay, we're still at okay help. Wind just died out of nowhere. We are at halfway. Okay, um, take that. I will take that. Liliana, how about you throw that? You, my dude, have got a... Up. And he's back to half. There we go. When was sacrificed for the greater good? <laughs> and Alistair is at less than half. And we're good. Very nice. Used to fighting like this any longer. Yeah. We can tell you died. <laughs> it's rough when you take a fireball to the fucking dome. <laughs> yeah, let's see what these fuckers were guarding. Allow me. I could do that for you. Liar. 
Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back, buddy. What? What was that? That's the way forward. Oh, that's the big boss? Yeah, so we didn't miss anything. We just... This is the room that we fell asleep in, most likely. Oh, before we went into the thief. Yeah. Which makes more sense. Yeah, this is the room we fell asleep in. Okay. Well, at this point, then, we're going to do uh, trial and error. Extra click. I have the utmost sympathy for what happened in your charge, but it is beyond the circle's ability to anticipate every obscure demise that any apprentice that an apprentice might face, especially involving methods outside that already extensive realm of magical study. We simply don't have the room for additional training facilities and there are concerns about becoming too inclusive that I will not elaborate on. Your request is denied. First Enchanter Sinclair. Okay, now that we see more of that conversation, Sinclair looks like the dick. Mm. Yeah, we're just going to do trial and error then. Whatever doesn't shock us, we will use the person with the uh, most amount of health to do it. Okay, I think we should try the vessel first. Yeah. So vessel, then spear, then hide and sword, then lowered sword. What do you think about that? And then it, it did say that he failed at his thing, so it might not even be any spear since we didn't find any statue with a spear very well wait I thought you said you were only going to click it once so you wouldn't get shocked yeah I forgot that I had already clicked it <laughs> okay so vessel that's not you, it you had already clicked it no I hadn't very well vessel raise sword yeah and then there is another one with a shield over there that did work. You want to do the shield? We'll try this one first since it's closer. I go. Okay, cool. And then the shield is the last one. Oh, we don't know if it's the last one. I hope it's the <laughs> last one because the only four we saw that had the fucking clickable things. It's weird, though, that they're so far apart. Done. Ooh. Quest updated. Is this what? A low rumble singles the signals the lowering of ancient protection. Something is free in the lowest levels of the tower. Oh. It said the lowest levels of the tower. So I don't think it's the vile thing. I think I know where that's at. Here? We're just going to keep going down because this is the lowest levels. Um, yeah, that guy that was in that force field thing, you would think you would recognize him if uh, we did the mage beginning. I'm not sure on that, though. It's been a while. I think it's this door over here. Not Excuse possible. me. Oh, 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 oh. Shaw weird. Well, you chose the wrong place, buddy. 
except these fucking wizards like throwing fireballs. <laughs> While we're freaking in battle. God damn you guys. Oh, I hope he doesn't kill any of the people over there. Oh, wow, we're below half. Alistair especially. We got him. When leveled up. Oh, hey. Nice. 34 Sorry. strength. Ooh. Oh, it's a two-handed sword. Oh, we can't even use it. It's definitely going to be valuable, though. Right? Four gold? Yeah. And then we got nice stuff to sell. Sick as fuck. Usaris, the dragon slayer. In the company of monsters, he went down the empty wolf roads after the dragons to the land where the ice is like steel and the air grows thin as a beggar and every rocky path is strewn with the bones of the lovely, lonely dead. There are da there Dane dwelled and 50 swords were worn to rusted ruin. Before that last, they found the cave Fenchel. Ancient keeper of the mountains, Bane Wolves, Dane sought a way into in which the dragon might be felt. Friend of fire and talon, its scales, brighter than any warrior's male, teeth greater than men, and all swore all around the slumbering worm were the bones. Wolves, men, beasts beyond counting. The fume of death frightened even the wolf pack, and Dane desperate crept into the cavern to seek monsters' death alone. There, shining among the dead like a stat, his hand found a sword, Usaris forged by the dwarf, smiths for an Alamari lord long ago. Waiting age after age to be taken the battle once more, and this Dane freed from the earth and struck all eye dragons still sleeping with swift, terrible blow. And Shaw woke wroth only to die from Dane and Werewolf. The legend of Blade Usaris predates Andraste, the sword that Dane found in the dragon's treasure hoard, which which he used to slay both Fenchel and the werewolf, was passed on to his son, Hafter. Dane may have fiction, but Hafter was back. In 140 Divine, he led the Alamari tribes against Darkspawn that flooded into the Ferelden Valley from the Dwarves' lands. He not only drove back to the Horde, but he also uh, defeated the combined forces of the Av Avors and Chastened, who hoped to take advantage of the chaos. His victories earned him such respect from tribes he was named the first Terran. After years of ruling the valley in peace, it is said that Hafter left Ferelden sailing into the unknown east of the Amar Amarathine Ocean with the blade still in hand, never to be seen again. Cool. If only we could use it. But Alistair can use it, no? One of the other guys? No, he's a sword and shield person. Hmm. Stan could probably use it, but I don't think we're going to be taking him out anytime. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I hope none of y'all died. She was already dead, right? Uh, let's say yes. Okay. Okay, were well, we going to let out Godwin? And we still have to kill that other thing, huh? Yeah. Okay, so that was the. Those were the ones that not, I know of. If we missed anything else, then I guess we missed it. I don't know how to do that fourth summoning. <laughs> so, we're shit out of luck there. <laughs> oh, it's hard to remain quiet and hidden when you keep approaching me like this. Oh, shut up and die then. Um, I'll just be on my way then. Stay where you are and don't move. What? Really? There's no way of me being like, hey, dude, I killed everything. Go out. He just wants to hide in his dresser. Okay, I'll just be on my way. Listen, if he wants to stay in the closet, leave him be. He's gonna what? If he wants to stay in the closet, let him be in the closet. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we'll just cut back to where we were near the random dude that I totally don't know up there. Alright, y'all, we're back. 
What's up, random guy? This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. What? What trick? Um, are you alright? A Templar and it seems he is a prisoner. What won't work? What's going on? Who are you? Hm. What won't work? The boy is exhausted. And this cage, I, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game. He's delirious. He's been tortured and has probably been denied food and water. I can tell. Here, I have a skin of... Don't touch me. Stay away. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. Ah, uh, I will not break. I'd rather die. Where are the other survivors? You're not going to die. Not if I can help it. Don't be foolish. We're not some kind of illusion. Snap out of it. I've no time for these games. Calm down. You're safe now. Mm. You're not going to die. Not if I can help it. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. Just tell me where the surviving mages are. I'm real and I'm here to help you. I'm no trick of the mind. You're pretty dense, aren't you? Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the images, so real. Did Gregor send you? How? How did you get here? Just tell me where the mages are. Gregor sent me in a sense. I defeated everything in my way. Now it's all just turn. I'm a great warden and I'm trying to help save the tower. Um, Gregor did not send me. Um, I'm a great warden. Good. That. Kill Aldred. Kill them all for what they've done. They caged us like animals. Looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and oh, there was nothing I could do. Where are Irving and the other mages? Aldred would play for what he's done. He must stay strong. Be thankful it wasn't you. Um, where are Irving and the other mages? What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sound's coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We oh. must hurry. They are in grave danger. I am sure of it. You can't save them. You don't know what they've become. We can't just kill them all, and you do? I don't understand. What are you afraid of? And you do? They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late. What do you propose we do? I want to save everyone who can possibly be saved. I will not kill an innocent. Um, I want to save everyone who can possibly be saved. Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. You must kill everyone up there. I'd rather spell ma Maleficarum than risk harming an innocent. I hate to admit it, but you are probably right. I cannot decide on that before seeing what's going on. Yeah, I cannot decide. That is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king of a grand cleric. I've made my decision. It isn't as bad as you make it out to be. I do not want the blood of innocence on my hands. You're right. It's not worth the risk. I do not fear Maleficarum. They should fear me. Yeah, the last one. You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? Uh, duh. Uh, stay safe. It will be over soon. We do not know what that they are all blood mages. Rest easy. I will get rid of these pesky mages. Um, stay safe. I'll be. It'll be over soon. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. <laughs> Make turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Shut up. You're already doomed, Colin. Yeah. Fuck you, Colin. Remember that name, by the way. Why, was he right? No. Okay. Well, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> Just remember the name. Do we accept 
the gift that I offer. Aldred, I presume? Wow. Just because they forcefully nod his head, they accept. Oh. I sure hope that was unnerving. Yeah, I don't think so. But I hope not either. Oui. What's up, guys? Ah, look what we have here. An intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? I think I'll just kill you if that's all right with you. I take it you're Aldred. Stop what you're doing immediately. No, I'll just be going now. Um, I take it you're Aldred. Oh, very observant. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. You'll soon follow your servants. You're turning these people into abominations. I'm sorry, are you upset I killed your lackeys? Mm. You'll soon follow your servants. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not be hasty. I'm trying to have a civilized conversation here. I do not converse with abominations. All right, talk. What are you trying to accomplish by torturing these people? This must not be allowed to continue. Um, yeah, what are you trying to accomplish? A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The gentry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. Oh, I'll give no. you this gift win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. I'm going to destroy everything here, including you. I'm glad so many of them stood up to you. Say what you like. I'm still going to kill you. Of course they are. You're trying to destroy their lives. Um. Um. Of course they are. They're trying to destroy their lives. Resistance. Everywhere I go, resistance. How very inconsiderate. I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I? Oh, that's Irving. What have you done to him? Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. Okay, so whatever we do, he has You're to remain alive. Fox mm -hmm. Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Earth. He'll serve me eventually. Ah, uh, we will not serve you. No, I won't. I'd rather die. What's that supposed to mean? Are you proposing partnership of some sort? No, I think it is you who should serve me. Um. If I say what's that supposed to mean, he starts to attack me, right? No or he clue. He starts to trap me. Mm. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm not stupid. Do you think I'm going to let you wander around this tower knowing you are a pawn of the Templars? You are a thorn in my side, and I must remove you before you fester. So yes, he is going to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to kill me then? You can certainly try to get rid of me. Did you have such a... have to use such a disgusting analogy? Ew. Um, you can certainly try. Killing you would be a waste. Your raw potential... With the strength of a demon behind it would be unstoppable. I can do that. 
I can give you power and a new life. Nah. That's going too far. You die now. I'm sorry. I can't let you do that. That doesn't sound very appealing to me. That's uh, going too far? <laughs> um, well, I would say the other two, but I don't want to apologize. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't sound very appealing to me. It's not very as strong as you die now. Okay. All right. You die now. Fight if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It yeah, I forgot it in my last attempt. To attempt. The mages <laughs> and win this fight for us. Okay, so do you so put the litany on it? us? Do first? I just use it straight up? What? Oh, it stunned them. Oh, that's cool. All right, Alistair. This is your job, homie. And our pup. When. Go against Aldrin, no? Wynn can do whatever the hell she wants, I guess. She needs to move the fuck back. And start attacking there. And we need to, like, kill these things as fast as possible while they're still stunned. They're no longer stunned. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Group heal. All of us, please. Yeah, because we're at half now. Oh, we're less Wait, than half. That's not a group heal. That's group heal. The hell did I just use? I used the revival. <laughs> yeah, because we're, we're at almost dead. Shit. Um, let's stone fist that. You're still attacking this, right? Okay, cool, his mages are gone. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I was supposed to use it then. Oh, the Lydney? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to start again, huh? Maybe. Alistair's less than half. Okay, I used it now. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Thanks, Wen, for yelling. I'll use it now. Wait, so if someone dies, I can revive them with this one. Uh, yeah, but Alistair's starting to get low. Okay, we're still looking good. We're at half. Oh, you just gave her a full biscuit. Alistair is at half. This motherfucker. Your pup is not doing too good either. <laughs> oh, I didn't check on him. I'm into it again? Oh, I think so. God damn it. Oh no, that's him. Nope. No, yeah, I think he turned. Oh, that's him on the floor there. Okay, so we use the litany again or do we wait till Wynn tells us? No, we killed him. Oh. Of course. Oof. For a mage. That's gonna be for uh, Morrigan since she likes the fire spells. Of course. I'm sorry. Mages. <laughs> it's a good thing only one of you were were important. Maker, I'm too old for this. For this shit, Irving. <laughs> are you all right? I've been better, but I am thankful to be alive. 
I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the tower is once again ours. I would like to look around before we leave very well, Liran. Are we done looking? Right. But please hurry. Gregor should be informed of what happened here as soon as possible. Alrighty. Well, that was the Tower of Magi. And that was Aldred again. I'm sorry, mages. <laughs> <laughs> On the next one, we'll go ahead and follow him back down to Gregor. If you guys did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you then.